Welcome everyone. On this section of our video, we will discuss about maneuvers that help extract the deeply engaged or impacted fetal head. After a long labor with cephalopelvic disproportion, the fetal head may be tightly wedged in the birth canal. The deeply impacted fetal head is considered impacted if it cannot be gently moved out of the pelvis during a vaginal examination between contractions or if there is insufficient space between the fetal head and symphysis pubis to permit delivery with standard fetal extraction maneuvers. Forceful use of standard fetal extraction maneuvers in this setting may cause extensive maternal trauma and may also severely injure the fetus. Several maneuvers have been proposed to help extract the deeply engaged or impacted fetal head. But there is no consensus for the best practice as available data have many limitations, resulting in uncertainty of best practice. We will discuss the two most commonly practiced maneuvers. Reverse bridge extraction or pull method. In this method, the operator grasps the fetal legs to bring them through the hysterotomy and deliver the fetus by traction as one would complete a bridge extraction. Clinicians who intend to use this method as their first approach for extracting a deeply impacted fetal head should be comfortable with the technique, having practiced it in non-emergency situations. To perform this technique, the operator's hand is inserted into the uterus toward the fundus to grasp the feet, which are then pulled to perform a footling breech extraction. When grasping and pulling the feet, care must be taken to only apply traction parallel to the axis of the legs to avoid fracturing the tibia or fibula. Once the feet are through the hysterotomy incision, the delivery is accomplished as a typical bridge extraction, taking care to avoid hyperextending the neck. Abdominal vaginal delivery refers to a procedure in which an assistant places their entire gloved cupped hand into the vagina to gently disengage and push the impacted fetal head up into the uterus for extraction through the hysterotomy. If abdominal vaginal delivery is anticipated, both the abdomen and perineum should be prepared preoperatively and the assistant who will perform this maneuver should be identified before surgery. Three or four fingers are separated and spread over a large area of the fetal skull to avoid exerting excessive focal pressure, which can be traumatic. The operating obstetrician also assists us from above by providing steady upward traction on the fetal shoulders and by attempting to flex the fetal head or at least prevent further deflection. This technique is generally successful in dislodging the deeply impacted fetal head and creating a space between the bony pelvis and fetal skull so abdominal delivery can be completed in the usual manner. However, it can also increase the risk of extending the uterine incision, potentially resulting in laceration of local anatomic structures. Additionally, it has been associated with serious fetal morbidity, including skull fracture. Care must be taken to avoid excessive pressure on the fetal skull when pushing up from below or when the operator places their fingers between the fetal skull and the maternal pelvic bones. As described earlier, there are limited data for the best practice to disengage an impacted fetal head during caesarean birth. But randomized trials suggest that use of reverse bridge extraction rather than push technique is associated with fewer complications, but both approaches are acceptable. In summary, on this section of our video, we have discussed about maneuvers that help extract the deeply engaged impacted fetal head, which includes reverse bridge extraction or pull method and abdominal vaginal delivery or push method. Thank you.